Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with the first, some bleh, first thoughts on Cattails here. Uh, I don't know a lot about this game. It just happens to be available, like, enormously discounted for like a couple dollars. It's got cats. I think it's some sort of RPG with realistic sorts of cats as your characters. So, I'm curious. Let's have a look. Yep, me. Not sure why it needed to do all that again, but okay. I don't know where, what a good spot for my face is either. On this title screen over here looks best, but we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Can we get a new game where I can load? I guess I'll pick load and see, I get five slots, okay. Uh, you can't use the D-pad, which is kind of weird. Music sounds nice. You have to use the left stick, not the D-pad. Yeah, it was weird. Please select the difficulty level. Please note, you can change this later at any time from the settings menu. Move my face again. Let's try up here. Uh, just because it was, like, yeah. Okay, normal difficulty. I'm gonna ratchet it down to easy if things get too obnoxious, because I can change it, apparently. Create your kitty. Uh... Interesting that they didn't use just the system keyboard for this. Mittens? There we go. Uh, I like grey. I guess I'm playing as that one? Kitty home. Oh. The kitty in a big house. So cute. Oh no, what happened? What happened? Did the kitty do something wrong? No. You can't abandon your kitty like that. Hey. What are you doing out here? You don't look like you're around here. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? You can move your cat with left stick. Try it out and go talk to Coco. I cannot use D-pad here either. It's interesting because it seems to be purely digital motion. Like it's eight directional. Uh, and you can't move at different, like, speeds or anything. Maybe you can just a little bit? Let me see. Doesn't look like it. Hmm, you say your name is Mittens? That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. You say you were left here or by yourself? Dropped off on the side of the road? How terrible. Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. I'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. You don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight. You can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. Yeah, it's a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We use it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? It shouldn't be too hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. Uh, it's this one that's sparkling, right? 
Yes. Looks like you found some golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? Dig it up in your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Uh, Y button. Collect the golden seal and hold it. Oh, look! There is stuff in every corner of the screen. Uh, the screen, the place, place where my face is, is showing like an 8 a.m. clock thing. I don't know if that's real time or. I mean, it's not real time. Real time is actually 10 at night, but. I don't know how often it advances, is my point. Great work, to be foraging like a pro soon enough. You go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold, to name a few. They all have their unique uses, so make sure to gather some up and try them out if you see them. Just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested. And some plants will only grow in certain seasons. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You can eat some plants like berries and licorice fruit, but they don't fill you up very fast. You mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make the tasty snacks. First, sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then, find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You'll want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, my son's very good at spotting off cats, so you can get pretty close. Then, pounce on the mouse once you're focused and ready. If you're just right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss on your first few tries. Hunting is tricky, and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. You got all that? I need to hear it again, just talk to me, I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck, and happy hunting! I guess if I hold ZL, I can sneak. Oh, I see how it works. It makes me look similar, like, like translucent. And it makes the mice, like, highlight. I'm a little confused as to how this works. Do I want to stay outside their field of vision or something? Okay, okay, I see. The bubble there, I want it to fill up without getting too close. Okay, I see how it works. <laughs> Nicely done. You're a natural hunter, Mittens. But you'll need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. I've got two. Then let's get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot further away than a mouse will, so you have to stay alert and keep learning. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skill in your skills panel. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mouse you just caught? And leave to eat in order to survive in cat tails and see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to 0%, you'll start taking damage from starvation. Looks like you're a little hungry right now. Go ahead and eat the mouse you just caught over your inventory, selecting the mouse and then selecting eat from the list of options. I'm now satisfied. Oh, I see. Keep an eye on how hungry you are, Mittens. It could be the difference between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills? Any sort of training that cats of your upbringing go through? No? None at all? That's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover ground quickly, to run away from a fight that's too big for you, or to catch up with prey that's escaping. To my active skill bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can use it by flicking the right stick to the left on your controller. Try it out now. Oh, I see. And it's like a cooldown. It's just how it's done. You can use sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every active skill you'll learn will work in a similar way. Normally, you'll have to gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip a new skill while inside your den. You gain experience by hunting, fighting, foraging, and even by sleeping. Lots of skills available, such as combat skills, travel, support, and more. You have four active skills at any time, so you'll to experiment with different combos to find what works best for you. Now for my passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming. Main command skills, skills panel, passive skills. Yeah, there's a lot of words here, I'm just gonna like skim it a bit. 
Yeah, I need... Okay, passive skills can be equipped anywhere, but active skills are in the den only. Okay. Experienced upgrade active skills that you really like. Okay. Pass for lucky intruders. Uh, yeah, they're gonna attack me. I'm gonna call any of the guards in the base of operations. Or skirmishes. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have a quick, a quick fight to practice. Okay. Can I, like, harvest this stuff first? That's fucked by pouring each other with their claws, takes a non-complete attack, and during that time you're able to react to my attacks. So if I'm just right, I can use for agility to escape my attacks. That's part of the other way. Only for a while attacking, so I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Yay, I did it! Better at fighting. We did a few battles with the border of the colonies. England's in the When to join the forest colony. Uh, what are my other options? Forest. Mountain domain. Mystic colony. We'll go with forest, I suppose. Oh, I got a den! Sleep and save my progress, and store items, save before sleeping each night. What's going on? Are they a ghost, or what? <laughs> uh, let's save the game. Go to sleep. Oh, little catty curled up. Good morning. I heard from Coco I'll be seeing a new face today. My name is Mare. I'm the leader of the forest colony. Here to give you a warm welcome. If you found your den comfortable enough, we're keeping it nice and tidy in case someone like you came along. We'll find that we're a pretty friendly bunch of cats around here. You want to go around and introduce yourself to everyone when you get the chance. Make sure you get to know Ember, our shopkeeper. Just say hello to Doc, our healer. The names are a little on the nose. I live just behind your den on a little island in the middle of town. Come see me if you get lonely. Oh, we're also preparing for the summer festival. I hope you'll join us for the festivities. Cats of every colony come together to the sacred temple at the end of each season with festivities. Usually fun uh, tenth of summer. So I'm getting the impression this is kind of like a Stardew Valley kind of thing. Like you have a little a little village and you're like maintaining it and the little festivals and stuff. Maybe? I'm not sure what to make of it just yet. Hey Ember. Hi there, if you want to check out my fine wares. Ember has wares. If you have coin. Hi, Ember. What have you got? Let's see what stuff you've got. Oh, the money is called Muse. Oh. <laughs> I guess I can get various foods. I can get some more golden seal and get some more marigold. Does the blue mean it's like discounted or something? Ooh, inventory expansion. Yeah, this does seem kind of like Stardew Valley, which is interesting. I can buy more fur colors. Oh, lots of lots more fur colors. Get a sweater. Get a bell. Do I have any money? I have zero money. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll get some money later. What's this? The notice board. Catch two fish in order to get an orange ladybug and a task token. I can go look for some fish. Assume. Can I look for fish? I don't know how to get fish. <laughs> hey, Scout. 
Hello. And there's Missy. Hello, Missy. Most important cat in the forest, I see. Sarge, are you protecting our borders? Because your name's Sarge? Yes. There's Doc. Hey, Doc. Got a squirrel, oh no. This is a grey squirrel. Oh, that's too far away from that one. I haven't got a good sense of how far I can pounce yet. Oh, hello. Ash. Thanks, Ash. I guess you just play as a cat and you do cat things. Hello kitties. What's up? Oh, oh no. We won? Did, did we kill the other cats? Mm. It's a bit cruel to give them names and then have us kill them. Oh god, you take so much damage from water. Oh no. Can you use my golden seal to heal? Oh, I see. It heals me slowly. Okay. I must say, this isn't what I was expecting. Although I'm not sure what I was expecting, so... Maybe this should have been what I was expecting, I don't know. No, because the focus wheel wasn't filling up at all. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, it's a marigold. to have that like radius thingy that gives you a hint of how far they can flee. Mm 
Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, I can't pick them up. That grave, I think. Yeah, I don't have a good sense of how far away I need to be. Looks like I'm getting stuck in a corner like this, it's pretty easy. Because they don't have very good pathfinding. Oops. I say that as they escape. <laughs> I got some licorice fruit. Where the music like quiet start quiets down when you're sneaky. I like that effect. Sounds nice. Is that a firefly? Hey. So yeah, I was going and expecting, you know, something more or less like a JRPG, but your characters are just cats. But this is not that, this is more like... Basically, I'm, I'm getting a lot of Stardew Valley feelings about this game. Like, you don't farm as far as I know, but it's otherwise... feels very similar. Oh, I know that's the main part of Stardew Valley, but... You, you get what I'm saying. Probably. Maybe. Do I have to go to bed, or will I just keep going all night? Can I go in here? Can I get inside the cottage? Maybe if I have more abilities later. The fairy wood. So beautiful. I'm kind of lost, not gonna lie. I don't think I have a map or anything. I may be in trouble. Oh, I can press that all to like hold different stuff in my mouth. Okay. I'm famish. I'm at forty-two percent. Doesn't that sound like famish to me? Okay, is that better? Oh, there is a map. Hang on, view map. Okay, so I need to head south and west to get back to my plant my plenty. Oh oh you're not on my team. There's a lot of meat eating in this game. It makes sense because cats are obligate carnivores, but it's it's a little weird. Okay, here's the forest colony. Let's get back to our den and have a sleep. Does that heal you? I hope it heals you. I took a little bit of a beating there. One mine? Yes. Is no, it doesn't heal you. 
Oh, it does. Okay, it just takes a little while. Hello? Something for me to see? Restore the balance? Sacred Temple, okay. How are you doing that? I... Oh, so the sacred temple is there. Okay, so I probably just want to keep walking forward. I mean, forward, I mean east. I want to see those icons at the top there are showing like which of the three people control it or whatever. Come here. River span, yeah, we've got a bridge here. Here's the sacred temple. Feel like a trapdoor. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you opened the trapdoor for me. Thanks. No problem. Okay, I can do that. Here's one. Oh! I just stood near it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is this is the thing in Saudi Valley, so... Yeah, I can do that. Mouse, squirrel, rabbit, black hit. Okay. I guess I can go look for those. I'm much better at finding foraged things though. Uh, please leave me alone. Combat in this game is, uh, tricky? I think I'm equipped to do this fight. Oh god, there's more of them. Hmm. 
guess I shouldn't eat any of this now because I need it to give to the trees or whatever. The, 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 what's the sacred ruins? There's a frog. Keep going, frog. Hmm. I should ratchet it down to easy just because I don't really know what I'm doing. <sighs> I would describe my situation here as confusing. <laughs> Unless you get experience just picking stuff up, that's pretty helpful.
Yeah, the combat's not great. Um... Oh god. So many of them. Are you kidding? I just change it to easy, honestly. Uh, be easy. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm not sure what that affects. Like, if that'll make them more, less likely to run away, or if that makes them, people do less damage, or... I think they're doing less damage to me. Oh, so fucking many of them though. now apparently but oh so you can't pick up and carrying too much stuff but accidentally pressed to not pounce. I think I can pounce farther with, very, with it set to very easy. I think. Hard to tell. Mm -hmm. 
of a hassle to look at the map. A lot of button presses. Which I mean two, but still. Compared to some of the other ways to get to maps in games. check what they wanted here and see if I can start giving it to them. Grab some slots. things yet. I wanna grab a squirrel. It's one. I assume these others will activate once I've filled in the first one and I'll make me get other stuff. Definitely prefer it on very easy. <laughs> oh, jeez. And for sleep. Yes, this is not the kind of game I was expecting at all, but I'm having fun. Need one more experience to upgrade something. I'll go for hunting, because it's what we're focusing on right now. I'm trying to hunt down a bunch of critters. tells me like what they actually needed. Mm -hmm. I hover over the temple and no. Not like it. Hmm. It would be very helpful to be able to check what you need. I can remap the buttons, which is nice. Doesn't seem like that's gonna help me much though. Inventory is currently completely full, so I might as well go and check what I need to drop off. Mm -hmm. 
I'll slave you to it. I'm sure you can manage. Is that trying to tell me to save my people or for something else? Grab it just in case. One mouse, one squirrel, one black hair. A mouse for you, here you go. Okay, now I just need the hair. Alright, and the rest of the stuff I can just gobble. experience from this, which is why I keep doing it with animals I know aren't the black hair I'm looking for. That seems so. Whoa! I can max out my fullness, like, over full, and get more movement. Okay. So you do want to eat more than you can handle, basically. and stuff around. Which I mean basically just crows. Can I sell the stuff I don't want? Like that would free up a lot of slots. Oh no, leave me alone. If I go back to town I can sell things. I think that might have been an option. So it's like a road bridge I can here, but they're probably asleep right now. I guess I'll go to bed. <laughs> As well. Is that noise? 
Oh, it's raining, like, really heavily. Oh, Ember, that's it. Ember. Yes, I can sell your stuff, but let's see. Um... Let's try to select all. 74? Okay. Can I buy inventory space from you? I think you had inventory space. Yes, for a hundred mutes. Let's do it. Any more slots? Another six. That's a good start. Okay, now let's go look. There may be less stuff to find given that it's pouring with rain, but I'm gonna try anyway. Like Richard, right? Yeah. I miss the music now that it's just rain noises. Squirrel, still what I'm looking for, but nice to have. little fence in this bit. Nice. Another grey squirrel? Yeah. No. I'm gonna eradicate all the Invasive species, grey squirrels, and there'll just be red squirrels left. I assume that's what this game is about. <laughs> what is this thing? What is happening here? Hello. Yes, I'm worthy of the treasure. Uh. Sorry, pens? Oh, I must need to learn more about the game before I can do that. I think that arrow means like combat is happening in that direction. But I don't really want to get into the combat. I'm gonna upgrade my other stuff first. Stick more swimming. Are you what I'm looking for? A grey hair? Black hair? Whatever it is? I think you are. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. Ah! I don't want to fight. I'm just going to forage. You have a fight. Getting the raspberries. Swimming isn't too bad, so I can cross that water without too much trouble. Oh, we're actually not that close to the temple. We're a bit closer than we were. Our gold! Like, I guess it's a bit more thematic to not have the music, but it's 
It's a little gloomier. It's like very easy, just makes me able to, like, among other things, lets me pounce a lot farther, which is simplifying the practice of hunting for stuff from a good distance. Which I appreciate. Um, yes, I do want to cross the river. Back, if I can. Oh god. Oh, that was scary. I don't know what happens if you die in this game. I'm guessing you just respawn back at your den, so that's more or less what happens in Stardew. But I could be wrong. Found the bunne you wanted. Here you go. You have done well, but there remains one thing I lack. Pick the purple jewel in a place of healing and contemplation. Hallowed garden to restore balance to the color. Just north of the sacred temple. Okay. Go there. Amulet, I see. Okay. Oh, it's so like a sorting things puzzle. See. Blue neighbor's green, yellow's directly to the right of red, red neighbor's yellow and blue. Purple has no neighbor to the right, so purple has to be all the way on the right where it started. Green is left of yellow. Yellow and blue. Yellow is directly to the right of red, which means the blue is on the left of red. Blue also neighbors green. Red needs to go over here, I'm pretty sure. Now these things what I'm looking for was the amulet. Put away. I cycle in the other direction? Oh, green is left to yellow. Hang on. I'm going to put red here, actually, and green on this side. I got confused because of the interface, which is not great. Like that. Red is up on the right. Red neighbors yellow and blue. That's right. That was directly to the right of red. So blue needs to be on the other side. There we go, puzzle solved. I got the, the jewel that I needed. Here, Coco. I'm just gonna go there by myself and leave you there. or something? I'm 
guessing we now have a bunch of objectives from each of these pillars, and when we activate all of them, that will shoot that one spot, and something cool will happen. Yeah, see? They all want lots of stuff. I've got some licorice root, here you go. I think I have raspberries, yeah. Promo code. Uh, I'm out of those things now. Or if I sold them. Okay, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of these different collectible thingies. Dove, Crow, Blue Jay, and Cardinal. I've got some Dove. Yeah. Scallops, Sea Bass, Mackerel, and Conch. Okay, I already stole my scallops, but would have been nice information earlier. Okay, so you can catch the bugs, I just don't know how. Out, salmon, bass, and... So, yeah, I, I, there's just a bunch of collecty, collecty the things quests here. game stuff later. Okay. And so, yeah, we've just got to collect a bunch of everything and bring it all here. gloomy when there's a storm going on. I've normally got this really nice music. Oh, I still have like this bush hiding in or something. get more active skills because there's only one in the game so far and I haven't seen a way to get more. I would assume there is one, I just don't know how to do it. Break into this house. Very curious. Oh, the rain stopped. You're really quiet now. Apparently in your den you can switch your active skills out, but I haven't seen an option to do that. Unless you have to just stand in the den and do it, maybe? Oh, active skills, hang on. Oh, hello! 
Diplomacy, Wild Slash, Summon Allies, Ooh, Heal Allies, Mortal Wound, Lion's Roar, Return Home, Warp Temple. Okay, yeah, those are probably the best ones based on what I'm doing, so... Oh! Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I think I do want the warp ones, but... Okay, so you have to buy the active skills with experience. Okay, I see how it works. I, I think Coco probably explained that, but there was so much text. Beach and look for more scallops. There's a scallop. More scallop. I can walk on this part. You have to swim. Okay, it's been about an hour, which is my standard amount for these sorts of videos, so I guess you see what Cat Tales is about. Um, it's not what I was expecting it to be about. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I was expecting, yeah, more, more like a conventional RPG where you happen to play as cats, but it, it's not that. It's Stardew Valley, but you're playing as cats, basically, <laughs> and it's fun. Uh, it's a little trickier than maybe I would like it to be, which is why I put it on very easy, but the fact that you can put it on very easy if you want, I think kind of makes up for the default difficulty being a little higher than I like. <laughs> Plus, you know, I'm sure there's people who would prefer the difficulty higher than I would anyway, so... Give me a turtle. Feel bad. Oh god, the meat and the shell came separately. Turtle shell. Turtle meat. Oh my god, that's so sad. So tragic. Can I buy active skills out in the field? Not sure. I would have made the warps a bit cheaper than the other ones just because like you really wanna have fast travel. Inventory limit is a bit harsher because this game has a lot of focus on experience. Um, Stardew Valley does have your skill go up as you do things, but like you don't directly buy it up by doing the things, if that makes sense. Uh, that probably didn't make sense. <laughs> it's just a little different, is my point. Uh, which one was that one? It's Scallop. This one? Yeah, there we go. Scallop. 
And a conch. There we go. And it doesn't want a turtle. Sea bass and mackerel. That one wants a bunch of different bugs and things. I want a bird. Is there any birds? A bunch of squirrels, which are not birds. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, I'm probably about done for this video. So, yeah, this is Cattails. Um, if you're looking for a game which feels a lot like Stardew Valley, but you're a cat doing fairly realistic cat activities, uh, then this is your game. <laughs> um... If you're not looking for that, then don't play this, because that's what this is, basically. Um, yeah. I'm having fun with it, but it's weird. There's also a way to catch fireflies and stuff, because you need to be able to cash them in, but I haven't figured out how you do that yet. Do you need to be higher level or something? Collect them all and then keep a couple of foods just in case we get hungry. That sound. So is it still the same cost for the next inventory upgrade, or...? Are they like different costs as you go up? 250, yeah, it goes up. Oof. Don't quite afford the bell. France misogyny. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, that's this game. Um, I like it. It's not the game I expected it to be, but it's a game that I'm enjoying and I'm gonna have fun with. And that's kind of what matters. So. Yeah. Fireflies. We might need like a new piece of equipment or more skills or something. I don't, I don't really know. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for this video. That's it for me talking about cattails for this video. Uh, next time, something else. <laughs> Bye!